Micah church. Thessalonians, they was a role model church. And we want this church to be a role model church. That's, that's why you are laboring. That's why you're here tonight, so the pastor could give you instruction to labor. We got to travail. That's in Galatians 4.19. We got to travail in birth till Christ be formed in you. Just like, amen, mothers travail bringing a child into the world. Life and death. Y'all understand. Can you sisters say amen? amen? Yeah. Give you a little anatomy study here tonight. You know about having a baby. And I ain't saying talking about rabies. I'm talking about having a baby. Amen. A lot of them got all types of disease, AIDS. A brother testified uh, last Sunday that he was been delivered from AIDS. Fornicated. Now, in the way he was talking, from what I understand, he might have been, uh, been, been in a homosexual they done approved it in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. The, the, the mayor signed it. The D.C. council approved it. The mayor signed it into law. And right after that, I think the earthquake was fried. God sent a shakeup. And, and the house that I worked with, the 98-year-old man, the his house got jobbed right in D.C. So it happened in Gatesburg, Maryland, and other parts of Maryland, only Maryland. And that's just a light. But if the heaven one come, we all could be out. So be not deceived. God is not mocked. You can't mock God. Whatever his word says, you got to obey. For obedience is better than sacrifice. And I don't know when God made do a reiteration, a repeat with a heavy earthquake like he did in Haiti. Yes. God could do, amen, shake up the ocean floor. Yes. God knows how to earthquake the ocean floor. I'm talking about awake. Yes. Yeah, but I hope you have time to awake and get out of this. All right, thank you. The trouble. Yes, yes, yes. Because the Bible says he's angry with the wicked every day. Yes. That's why we're here to wait. You have to keep Wait to righteousness. Amend your way. Yes, amend your way. You, you can't amend your way if you're not awoken. Yes, you're not awake. You can't eat and sleep too. Yeah. I know I get real sleepy when, when I'm hungry. My appetite overrides my sleep. It's bad to go to bed. Can the church say amen? Oh, I'm feeling good tonight. Let's give God a praise. Give God a praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. Happy or not. God is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he's good. His mercy endureth forever. Thessalonians, am I correct? Digging to every that it was a role model church. Amen. Amen. Is that right, Sister Kirby? Right. Role model church. Paul, Paul, Apostle Paul was able to write to the Thessalonians and Thessalonica. Write them and tell them, encouraging them how beautiful they act. He wasn't doing any flowery accolades, patting them on the back when they in sin, because he addressed all the churches when they was in there. The Galatians and the Corinthians, the carnal mind Corinthians. Thessalonians in Thessalonica, they were spiritually minded, and they were a young church. And the church in Berea, in the 17th chapter, they were more noble than those that in Thessalonica. So the more you study the word, the more you study, not to be nutty. Be busy, not dizzy. You're able to witness. You are his witnesses every time you meet somebody who are not saved and you can encourage somebody, the Holy Spirit will lead you. I meet people in 7-Eleven. They're down there. I give them the track. Y'all know, last, I think last time I give a happy news a track down 7-Eleven. How many been down 7-Eleven? Y'all down the street. Is it is down the street? That's right. Yeah, go in the store. They're taking your money. So give them the gospel hunt. 
I go to McDonald's, because my boss, my second boss, there, 98 years old, two 98 years old, he liked cheeseburgers. He loved it. Can you imagine 98 years old, uh, digging old kid, he eating cheeseburgers. And, and, and apple pies. Amen. You buy two for a dollar. How many know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm right with you, all young people. And I buy fries. Yeah, fries and pies. Yeah, uh huh. Yes, sir. And I'm giving, and, and the, the slogan is, it's like you said, many way, the slogan at McDonald's is, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And when they give me my pies and fries, and cheeseburger, and sometimes I order a quarter pound, or a Big Mac, I tell them, here, yeah, I'm loving it. <laughs> Give God the praise. Give God the praise. Give me the praise. I'm loving it. Loving it. Loving the Lord. Loving the Lord. Loving the Lord. Above the cheeseburger, above the hamburger, above the french fries and pie. Above the Big Mac. I give them the Big Jesus. They say, oh, thank you. I say, but I'm intelligent. See, you be intelligent. See, so they won't think you're wacky, quacky. See, you tripping. Amen. Foolish. I say, be this when you get home. Right. Yeah, do the so good. Because some of them have a rough day at McDonald's. You don't deal with the customers and everything. See, he that with his soul is what? It's wise. We may not see them again. That's found in 1130 Proverbs. And you and everybody have their word. Go into all the world your world and preach the gospel, witness the gospel yeah. to every creature. Don't wait just to come to church and testify. God is watching every move you make. What are you doing? You are his feet. You are his hand. You go into all the world, your world, in the colleges, in the high school, junior high, teaching little children in the elementary. Tell them, come to church. You're bored. You're bored. You're all stressed out. Sister came to the church that one time. She's a teenager. She came in the Southeast Ministry before we, you know, now I'm so hell much younger. God just blessed me to go around. Because sometimes when a ministry has done its full core, God puts you on another ministry. Don't get stuck on your job. Because God don't need none of us. We need him. So be thankful that you can sit in the house of God, but don't make it a permanent thing that God needs you. And God, they, they, man, nobody have a premium on life. Just be ready when he comes. Amen. Don't let him catch your works undone. For he's coming again so soon. So God is good. Awake to righteousness and sin not. For all men what have not the knowledge of the truth. Go into your world. Your hedges and highways. But you have to have the Holy Spirit. That's why I told him to meet them in Jerusalem. Jesus told him, go to the Jerusalem. After I go back to my father, I pray the Father to send you another comforter. Do I have a witness in the house? And that comforter shall teach you and guide you and abide with you. Amen. Forever. Forever. Let my soul live. Psalms 119, 175 and 176. Let my soul live. Repeat this after me so you won't go back to sleep or get drunk. You ought to be drunk on Jesus. The early church was drunk on Jesus. Three o'clock in the morning, early in the morning, they weren't, they weren't drinking no alcohol. They said even people have been drinking, said uh, beer joints are not open. What's going on? They had the Holy Ghost. They had the what? Yeah, I'm shaking you up tonight. So when you say, oh, Russell, you won't be back or you tell me, Wake to righteousness. Key word. Amend your way. Wake to mend your ways. Ask for the old path. Amen. Amen. Work in your world. Your world. On the job. Your computer literate. Amen. In the colleges. And, you, and see, the spirit has to lead you because you can bore people with religion. That's what's messing up people now with religion. All these hundreds of religions. But you tell them you're not uh, passing out a religious literature. You're passing out about a person. And that person is Jesus Christ. 